about Mother Nature? What's going down? You know, it's hot and it's humid. Mm -hmm. It's August, so it's typical for the time of year. But this is even a little atypical. Just the humidity mm. is so mm -hmm. high. And that's making it feel, once again, like it's near the triple digits. We had a heat advisory earlier today. That was canceled about 630. Nothing has been issued yet for tomorrow, but we do expect it once again to feel like the upper 90s. Let's take a look at outside right now. There will be some areas of patchy fog developing here and there tonight, so keep that in mind if you're going to be out and about overnight or if you're heading to work early in the morning, perhaps a few spots of patchy fog out there. Center City looking quiet tonight, though. The radar is quiet. No showers or storms out there as we speak. Our high today reached 92 degrees, about six degrees above average, but nowhere near that record. Look at that record. That's an old one. 103 from back in 1918. Our morning low of 75 was above average as well. Record low, a chilly 53 set back in 1957. So what's going on outside right now? Well, temperatures have not dropped off much from that daytime high. We're still in the 80s in Philly, Trenton and Redding. It's 78 in Allentown, 79 degrees in Atlantic City and Wildwood. But storm skin three is quiet for now. Nothing going on as we head through tomorrow. Once again, just the daytime heating will cause enough lift, enough dynamics out there for a few pop up thunderstorms to to occur once again. Take a look at the humidity though. It's going to be right back in the oppressive range for tomorrow. Wednesday looks like the steamiest day of the week with dew points in the mid 70s. That puts us right in the insufferable range. Nobody ever wants to be in the insufferable range, but the good news is by Thursday we're going to cut that back down. Not so bad on Thursday, but as we know to go from insufferable to not bad, you need some sort of catalyst and usually that means thunderstorms. So what to expect moving through tomorrow? We'll start the day with some sun, just a few pop up thunderstorms here and there in the afternoon. Mainly these will blossom, dump rain for 15 or 20 minutes and then fizzle and they won't be everywhere, but they will be here and there. Again on Wednesday, we start the day with some sunshine. Now a front's going to be moving through in the afternoon and evening. That means a little bit more coverage for Wednesday as far as thunderstorms are concerned, and some may be locally strong, especially at night. Severe threat for tomorrow is marginal, the lowest risk on the scale there, and it's mainly north and west in the afternoon with the chance for some marginally severe wind gusts or possibly small hail. But again, storms are few and far between tomorrow. Overnight, mainly clear, warm and muggy at 76. Your forecast for tomorrow, mostly sunny with a pop-up thunderstorm at 92. So if you're thinking about getting outside, hitting the trails, going running, maybe a good day for the treadmill. I know I don't like the treadmill either, but it's going to be very steamy out there. Morning, midday, just drink lots of water. And in the evening, probably not so great. Very hot, very humid with thunderstorms around. But the humidity reduces by Thursday, and that means good news for the Eagles preseason game. 85 degrees at kickoff with lower humidity. So Thursday is the nicest day of the week. Not as humid after two steamy days tomorrow and Wednesday. Friday seasonable with sunshine, high 90. But over the weekend, looking to turn a bit unsettled again with showers and storms possible Saturday and Sunday. We still got a ways to go, so we'll keep an eye on the weekend. I don't think it's a total washout, mm -hmm. but again, maybe dodging some showers and storms. <laughs> okay.